Welcome to Chamber Exchange, the TV show. My name is Tim Murray, President and CEO of the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce. And Chamber Exchange, the TV show, is an opportunity for us to bring our chamber members and other guests who uh, play important roles regarding economic development uh, here in the region. And uh, it's brought to you by Bank Hometown, who's our sponsor, and we want to thank them. Uh, very pleased to have with us in our first segment, Delcy Bean, who is the founder and CEO of Paragus IT. Delcy, welcome. Thank you very much for having me, Tim. Yeah, well, uh, I you know, want to give you a chance to maybe talk a little bit about the company. I know we, you were on early on uh, last year, uh, fairly new with the company's presence and some things you would do in the community, but, but for those who maybe missed that episode or that segment, maybe you could talk a little bit about Paragus IT. Sure, so we are an employee-owned outsourced IT firm. We basically are the IT department for other small businesses that don't have their own IT department. We started in Hadley, Massachusetts, and then we decided we wanted to grow the business. We identified Worcester as part of that expansion plan, uh, purchased a company here in 2021, and then opened up our office last year, uh, and have since hired, I think, now 18 people in the Worcester market uh, to help us grow our presence here. Right, and you know, we use kind of three words to frame and organize our work at the Chamber, recruit, retain, incubate, and part of that incubate piece is you know, working with entrepreneurs of all different ages and backgrounds on kind of starting a business. And just, uh, you started this business pretty young. I did, I accidentally started this business in high school. And I say accidentally because I never intended it to be the company that it is today. It was a side gig, you know, fun thing to do. Uh, but it just kept growing and I loved it and I loved business and it has evolved to being what it is today and becoming an employee owned company. And, you know, really almost any company of any size or sector today, IT is integrated in how you do your operations and whether you're delivering, you know, products or goods or services. And so if you're focused on and your expertise is making a particular good uh, or, or product, if you're delivering a particular service, you know, knowing IT is a whole level of expertise. Yeah, and that's exactly right. Our, our focus is we want to let our clients do the work that their business was designed to do. And we want technology to be something that enables that, but not something that they have to be worried about or stressed about. And, you know, it was IT and the stability and backups, and then it was cybersecurity and keeping them safe. And now it's AI and automation and how to keep up when everybody else is implementing all this new technology, how do you implement and adopt the right technology and not make the wrong investment, but do so in a way that's going to help advance the business? Right, right. And so uh, Hadley, uh, kind of a little south of Springfield uh, area, right? And uh, growing into Worcester and you're located right downtown. Yeah, we moved into one mercantile street. We've absolutely loved it there. Uh, we have a great space up on the seventh floor. And we're actually starting to wonder if we're going to ha not have enough space because we're growing so quickly in Worcester. No, well, that's a, a good problem to have. And, you know, part of the way you've been out kind of uh, shoe leather beating the bushes, uh, letting, you know, people know about, about Paragus IT. But you also got involved with uh, an event to kind of uh, give back and uh, you know, have some fun. Yeah, part of our expansion thesis is every time we enter a new community, we want to make sure that we give back to that community in a meaningful and sincere way. And so when we came to Worcester, we asked around kind of what's important to this community. We found out that the firefighting community is really, really important to the city and to Central Mass in general. And so we created this thing that we call the Paragus Firehouse Cook-Off. We invite firehouses to each make unique dishes bring them to Poor Park, and then we invite guests to come in and sample all the dishes uh, and taste the different creations and then vote for their favorite. And then we also have an amazing panel of judges who's also going to vote on what they consider to be the best dish created uh, by the firehouses. Right, and last year uh, went, went very well and, and contributed some money back. Yeah, we sold out. Uh, we were at 350 attendees, which is more than we had expected. We uh, were able to give away, I believe, $13,000 uh, to uh, the firefighting community. And this year, we've already raised $40,000 in sponsorships alone. And we are very excited that this is going to be a much bigger event than last year and that it's going to continue to grow year over year. Yeah, and uh, the defending champions, I guess, are the... The Worcester South Division Group Three. Uh, yes, they, they took to, took the prize last year with uh, you were telling me before we started with the Colombian hot the dog. Colombian hot, something I'd never had before, but like instantly became a fav, uh, favorite. Everybody was talking about it. I think a lot of people hadn't had it, and everybody's tasted it and was like, "Oh my God, this is just amazing!" Yeah, yeah. And the date for that is September twenty first. September twenty first, Polar at Park. Park. And the time we've got. Let me see here. I think the gates open at five. Gates open at five, okay. Yeah, but you do need to purchase tickets in advance. Uh, so make sure that you go to, uh, you can go to Paragus, uh, you can go to firehousecookoff.com and you can purchase tickets there. It's on Eventbrite. Um, but we do expect this event to sell out. We have to, you know, guarantee so much food to the firefighters who have to make the right, food. So right. we have to give them a number. And, and uh, so 
the tickets are uh, such as but gates open at five tickets are thirty dollars for the general public twenty five dollars for firefighters and their families and children under ten are admitted fee and free and your tickets entitle you to some harpoon beer tasting table talk pie polar seltzer and samples of other dishes yes yeah, so you sample all the firehouse cook-offs plus the beer the seltzer and the pie exactly Got it. And you got some pretty good sponsors there to, to help with the, the fundraising effort, which benefits the Worcester's 6K, the, the road race charity. That's exactly right. Uh, Datto, Catches Law Group, Sentinel One, Fontaine Brothers, Nietzsche Hospitality Group, LEI, Coffin Companies, Country Bank, Fidelity Bank, Synergy Group, Myrick O'Connell, UMass Memorial, O'Connor Maloney, Wolf and & Company, and Anna Maria College. Yeah, it's amazing that <laughs> how quickly the Worcester community has embraced this event and supported us. And like I said, we've already raised 40000 just from the sponsors who want to help support this community event and bring the firefighters together. Right. And uh, I am uh, going to do a little extra work out that day because I, I'm joining your judges panel on that, along with uh, Mike Cavino from Nietzsche Hospitality, John Martin from Ketch's Law Group, and Mike Shu from the, the Pike. And, I, uh, and uh, there's a uh, they're going to be doing it, hosting it on the radio, I guess. Yeah, I believe the Pike is going to do some sort of kind of live event there. Uh, we also have been working with a couple of other local radio stations to create promotion and just create connection to the community. This is, you know, for us, it's really important to bring the community out to be with the firefighters um, and so that they can meet them and meet the people they're serving and enjoy just great food, which right. can't be better than that. So in addition to the judges panel, you also have a, a People's Choice Award. Yeah, so everybody who attends has an app on their phone. They can vote for their favorite dish. Uh, you only get one vote, and then we give out two awards at the end of the night. So we give the crowd favorite, and then we give the judges favorite. All right, got it. And which one's, which one's the, the real winner? <laughs> yeah, well, so it really depends on who you're trying to please. Yeah. Uh, the more critical crowd or just the broader public. But they each get, I believe, a poor seltzer is going to give them a very generous donation of seltzer for the firehouse. And then most importantly, they get a pendant that they can hang up in the firehouse and have bragging rights for the rest of the year. Got it. Got it. Okay. So that, again, we'll come back to Par uh, Paragus IT can, website can g g give you yep. that. Or you can just go to... Uh, uh, firehousecookoff.com. Okay. Now back to the business end of it. Sure. Paragus IT. So if there's a company out there, or organization that's saying, you know, hey, look, we've been trying to do this in house, or we're not happy where we're at. How do they get a hold of you and kind of how do you work with them in terms of trying to assess their needs and see if there's a, a path forward? Yeah. And so we, I would say the start is to go to paragusit.com, take a look at our website, take a look at who we are, get to know us a little bit and see if we think it's the right fit. We tend to work best with customers who need something more than just people to call when the computer breaks. Yep. They need somebody to help consult with them around things like cyber, but more importantly right now, AI and automation. And because we are 60 employees and we have reached a size that allows us to offer things that a lot of our competitors can't, we're able to offer a kind of a much more comprehensive package that has a lot of consulting and expertise beyond just the day-to-day -day helping to support the computers. Got it, got it. Well, Delcy, thank you for being with us. Thanks for... Uh for uh, jumping into the community as you, as you have with this uh, uh, Firehouse Cook-Off, uh, September 21st, and uh, look forward to, to seeing you there and having some fun. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me, Tim. All right, we're going to come right back for our next segment of Chamber Exchange. Stay with us. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential. Worcester, a city with heart, history, and promise. A hub of innovation in life sciences, education, and health care. Home to multi-generational families, first-generation citizens, and next-generation baseball and hockey greats. Home to great parks, world-class museums, theaters, and restaurants. Worcester, the place to visit, to invest, and to call home.